Are you thinking about moving to St. Albert, Alberta and you're wondering what it's like living here and what there is to do here specifically in the summertime? Well, that's exactly what we're talking about in this video. Let's go check it out. If you've been to the channel before, welcome back. But if you're new here, my name is Mike Banks and on this channel we talk about all things real estate, all things living in Alberta and all things living in my hometown here in St. Albert, Alberta. So if you're into that kind of content, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Not only was I born and raised here in St. Albert, but I still live here with my family. And I'm also a local real estate agent here. So I have a lot of local expert knowledge on the city and this real estate market. So if you have any questions about moving here or living here whatsoever, my contact information will be in the description below. Hello, call me, email me, text me, however you are comfortable communicating. I'd love to help you out and answer any questions that you have. I also have a website that I'm creating about all things St. Albert real estate. So once that's live, I'll link that down in the description below as well. So let's get right into it. I had to make this summer edition video because I made a video last winter, the seven pros and cons of living in St. Albert. If you haven't seen it already, I'll link it right here. And I really wish I made that video in the summertime because St. Albert is just so beautiful here in the summer. It is in the winter as well, don't get me wrong, but the summertime here is extra special. Now, one of our channel community members, I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly, Zuel Athene, also commented on that video that they had wished I had made the video in the summertime as well. So here it is. You're going to see me revisit a lot of the same spots I went to in that winter video, like this bridge I'm on right now, because I want you to see it here in the summertime now. So we gotta start with the weather, because the weather here in the summertime in Alberta and in St. Albert is awesome. The wintertime, ah, it's a different story. Depending on what you're into, it can really suck because it can be long, cold, and snowy. But the summertime, Totally different story. The weather is very fair here. We average about 22 degrees Celsius all summer long, and it can get a lot hotter actually. We had a heat wave this summer where it was like plus 35, even 39 degrees for about two weeks. So if you didn't have air conditioning, you were definitely not enjoying life then. But for the most part, it stays about 22 to 25 degrees all summer, which is perfect. It's hot, but it's not too hot, and it's not cold either. There's still lots you can enjoy outdoors in 25 degrees Celsius weather. So if we're talking about the outdoors, we have to talk about this trail system here in St. Albert because it is amazing. There are kilometers and kilometers of paved trails. So walking, running, biking, rollerblading, scootering, skateboarding, whatever you're into, there are gonna be so many trails for you to explore here in St. Albert. And it wouldn't be a St. Albert summer video without talking about the parks and green spaces because there are so many of them in St. Albert and they are so nice. I'm in one of the more notable parks right now, which is Lions Park. It's a very popular spot and for good reason. The facilities and amenities here are awesome. I don't know if you can see, uh, there they are right there. Those ladies having lunch under that gazebo. My nephew had his birthday party here in the summer, which was a lot of fun. There's a playground, there's picnic tables, there's fire pits, there's an additional gazebo for larger groups behind this one, and there's even bathrooms as well. This park is so awesome. And then where I'm standing right now in the winter time, this would be ice because it turns into a giant skating rink and skating path over there to enjoy in the winter time. Local pro tip about Lions Park and these picnic tables, the fire pit and the gazebos. If you're planning a special event or you just wanna hang out with friends and family on the weekend and the weather's supposed to be nice, well you better get here quickly because these spots are claimed really fast. Now there's a lot of grass and green space here, so it's not to say that you can't set up somewhere else, but if you're hoping for a gazebo or a picnic table and a fire pit, then you gotta get here early in the summer, especially when the weather's nice. And then St. Albert has a bunch of other large, notable, and really popular parks, which we'll visit later in this video, but it's Lois Hole Provincial Park, Lacombe Lake Park, Red Willow Park along the river, Woodlands Park, Kingswood Park, and River Lot 56. Now this video is pretty focused on what it's like in the summer here in St. Albert, what there is to do, but if you're wondering about other things about living or moving to St. Albert, like healthcare, public transportation, schools, childcare, housing, crime and safety, and all those different things, make sure to reach out. My contact information will be in the description below, and there will be future videos on this channel about that, of course. Now I'm downtown St. Albert, and I know in my winter video, I really poked fun at downtown St. Albert, saying it's pretty sleepy and there's not a lot going on. And that is mostly true in the winter. It is pretty quiet down here, but in the summertime, as you can see, it's a lot different. It's way 
busier. There's a lot of cool restaurants and patios and coffee shops. This spot right here, Trist, it's a wine bar and small plates restaurant, really cool patio. And let's actually cross the street and go check out another thing. And then of course, downtown St. Albert has one of my favorite restaurants in St. Albert, Jack's Burger Shack. They have their own little patio and then the same owners own Serto, which is a taco place. And they have, where is it right there? They have a rooftop patio, which is cool. Now let's keep cruising downtown. And then of course, this place, DJ's Pizza. If you ask anybody in St. Albert what the best pizza here in St. Albert is, they're gonna say DJ's usually. It's my favorite place. If you ever come here, ask for Diana. She's the lady that owns the place. Such a sweet lady. Tell her Mike sent you. And then just this summer, St. Albert got these e-scooters. They popped up everywhere and you see people ripping around all over the trails and streets with them. The really cool way to see St. Albert actually. You know what? Let's hop on one and go check out the River Valley. 67% battery, now I'll pass. Ooh, 95, let's take this one because I want to go for a nice long ride through the river. So I just entered Red Willow Park, which I talked about earlier back when I was at Lions Park. And as you can see behind me, this park is awesome. It's basically just a big long trail that goes all along the river and it goes for quite a way. So let's see. Let's see how much mileage I can get out of this e-scooter that I'm still on. It's crazy how much fun these things are, how fast they go, and how much range they have. I just came from St. Albert Place. I'm in Woodlands Park right now, which I mentioned earlier. This is probably about two and a half, three kilometers, I'm gonna guess, to here. And I still have 72% battery left. Now, we're in Woodlands Park, super popular spot as well, with things to do in the summertime here in St. Albert, so let's check it out. So I was here in the winter time and of course it's a lot different in the summer. Behind me is the St. Albert Splash Park, or I guess the Woodlands Water Park is the official name. Now I don't know to be honest why it's fenced. I don't know if it's a COVID thing or if it's under renovations, but on a hot summer day, this place is packed with kids and families. And then of course behind me we have the skateboard, rollerblades, scooter, bike park, whatever you want to call it. This was just recently upgraded as well. So a lot of kids are hanging out here. In the summertime, this place is also packed when school's not in session like it is right now. Now, since we have so much battery left on this scooter, let's go keep checking out these trails and parks. Woodlands Park is home to these awesome baseball diamonds and facility, as well as the St. Albert Minor Baseball Association. So if your scooter has enough battery in it or your legs have enough battery in them and you take the trail along the river long enough, you end up here at the end of St. Albert on the east end, which is Kingswood Park that I mentioned earlier. As you can see behind me, it's a massive park. And like I said, it's the end of St. Albert because up in that corner there, it's where St. Albert ends and Sturgeon County begins. And then also up in that corner is River Lot 56, which I mentioned earlier, which is a really cool natural preserve of wooded trails that you can walk in, run in, bike in, and in the winter time, cross country ski or snowshoe in. And speaking of winter time, this place is also cool in the winter because behind me here, we have this little pavilion area. That's a heated shack with washrooms in it. You can tie up your skates because where I'm standing right now turns into an ice rink. And then all the way around this park is a cross country skiing track, which is really cool as well. But again, we're focusing on the summertime. Just look how nice it is here. Now I got to head all the way back to St. Albert Place. Hopefully this thing has enough battery to make it there. Let's go right now. And I made it back to St. Albert Place without running out of battery. It's crazy how much range these things have. Kingswood Park, where I went to, is about four kilometers from St. Albert Place. And then I had to come back and, I don't know, it's not showing me how much battery I have. But the cool thing with these, they're all GPS tracks. So when you're done with it, you just park it, go into the app, say that you're done, and somebody else can ride it later. Now, how am I doing so far, guys? Let me know in the comments below. What do you think of St. Albert in the summertime? We still have lots to see and do, so let's go check it out right now. 
Now, of course, I was here at St. Albert Place in my winter pros and cons video because this is where City Hall is, and I was complaining about one of the biggest cons in St. Albert being the high property taxes. They're still high, <laughs> some of the highest in Alberta. Now, today's a Thursday, so behind me here, got St. Anne Street. Not a lot going on today because it's a Thursday, but on Saturdays, every Saturday from June 12th until October 9th, the outdoor St. Albert Farmer's Market is happening here, and this place is packed with vendors and people. It's a very popular event here in St. Albert. You know what? I'll come back here on Saturday when it's actually happening. So today is Saturday, which if you've made it to this point, you know that that means Farmer's Market Day here in St. Albert, which is what is happening behind me. Downtown St. Albert, St. Anne Street, where I am right now, completely shuts down to car traffic so that they can host this Farmer's Market. Now, it's not the brightest or sunniest day today, but it's still not too bad. And you might have noticed at the beginning of this video, some of the trees and the leaves were changing colors. That's because I started this video at the tail end of summer. Well, now is fall, so you get to see St. Albert both in the summer, well, the tail end of summer, and fall. Let's go check out this farmer's market. I've been to the farmer's market a lot and I've never seen this guy before. This dude is chopping wood with a sword. This farmer's market is such a popular event on Saturdays here in St. Albert because it's one of, if not the biggest outdoor farmer's market in the region. You're gonna see a lot of the typical stuff that you would see at the farmer's market, like fresh produce, homemade goods, and a bunch of artisan type things. And then a pro tip about the farmer's market is it looks super busy right now, but it's actually usually a lot more busy than this. I don't know, might be the weather, but on a hot summer sunny day, it is packed here, so parking can be an issue because parking downtown here in St. Albert is a little limited. So some people actually make kind of a day out of it. They'll park farther away and then they'll walk the beautiful trails here in St. Albert like I showed you earlier and make their way down to the farmer's market, hang out here, even have lunch because there's a little food court of food trucks and then they'll walk back. Other people have the luxury of living really close by here, so I'll put it up on the map right now, but the neighborhood of Grandin and Brayside, they're right next door to this farmer's market, so if you live in those neighborhoods, you can basically just walk from your house down here, but St. Albert's not a <laughs> massive city, so even from other neighborhoods that are a little bit farther away, like home, woodlands even, you can still walk to the farmer's market. So this is uh, the Moroccan side. And then down on this location, there's some other festivals that are held here, like the International Children's Festival, which is a world-renowned event. In the wintertime, we have the Snowflake Festival. Downtown St. Albert here, there's hay rides and fires and hot chocolate being given out, coffee, all those kinds of things. St. Albert has some other festivals in the summer, like the Rainmaker Rodeo, Rock in August. There's just so much to do here in summertime in St. Albert. Let's go check out some other things right now. So I just left the farmer's market and the next spot I wanted to bring you to is here at Real Recreation Park and Rotary Park. As always, I'll put it on the screen right now where I'm at in St. Albert. Now this is a cool spot in the summer because I'm standing on it right now. It's actually right behind me as well, right there. There's a kayak and canoe boat launch right here. And I was hoping to catch some people today, but Nobody's here. <laughs> it might have something to do with the weather a little bit, but in the summer, especially on nice days, this spot is pretty busy and there's a lot of canoes and kayaks launching from the spot going up and down the river. There's actually even a rental company that will bring the boats, so the canoes and the kayaks, no motorized boats, but they'll bring them to this spot for you and then you can rent them and launch here and go for, I was gonna say swim, but more like a paddle up and down the river. You don't want to. You don't want to swim in this river. But you can go for a paddle up and down the river and rent it for. I honestly don't know the rental rates and how long they rent them for, but I'm sure they're in half hour or hour increments. Now I want to take you over to Lois Hole Provincial Park next. So let's go there right now.
This park is so special and this boardwalk that I'm on right now is also very cool. The sunrises and sunsets you can get walking or running or biking, whatever you're into here can be incredible. And what's cool about this boardwalk is all along the way they have these cards because it's basically a guided tour explaining the habitat and plant life here because this spot here is actually a very important nature reserve and bird sanctuary. And then what's also cool about Lois Hole Provincial Park is back, way back there in the woods, there's wooded trails as well. And there's these chickadees, these birds that you can actually feed like literally out of the palm of your hand, which is pretty cool and pretty fun as well. And then on the west end of the park, you have this deck called the Bless Viewing Platform. I'll put it on the screen right now, of course. The sun sets out here can be incredible, so it's definitely worth checking out. And then behind me right here, I don't know if you can see those people biking, but there's all paved trails through here. Not all of the trails are paved here, but this trail in particular actually connects back to where we just came from, which is Real Recreation Park and Rotary Park. There's still so much to show you in St. Albert that I'm excited about, so stay with me. So when it comes to swimming and heat in the summer, I'm at the Grosvenor Outdoor Pool, which is St. Albert's only outdoor pool, and it's in the neighborhood of Grandin. This is a very popular spot. It's empty right now because it's the end of the season, which is actually pretty cool what they do at the end of the season. They have this dog swim where they let all the dogs pile into the pool before they drain it and clean it out. St. Albert also does have two other swimming facilities, which is Service Place and Fountain Park Recreation Center, but they're not outdoor like this one. Watch, I'm probably gonna get a brain freeze in front of you guys. So speaking of beating the heat in St. Albert, this place right here, Redder Food Store, you have to come here for an ice cream slurpee. It's in the neighborhood of Mission, which is actually where I grew up in St. Albert. Now, of course, there's other places in St. Albert now you can get ice cream slurpees, but this place is the original and the best. I've been coming here since about six years old, actually. Now, I know that this is definitely not going to look like much because, well, it doesn't, it's just a big, fairly empty parking lot. But the reason why I brought you here is because this is the parking lot for St. Albert Center, which is St. Albert's only traditional shopping mall. Don't get me wrong, St. Albert has a ton of shopping and amenities, but this is the only mall in the traditional sense where you walk inside and everything's all indoors. And if you look on the map right, I'm showing you right now, this is actually pretty much right in the center of St. Albert. But again, why I brought you here is because this parking lot actually transforms in the summertime. There's a carnival that comes here, which is a really cool event for the kids and the family. Family. The city sets up a drive-in movie theater back there, which is also a really cool kid and family-friendly event. Usually they're showing and playing kid and family-friendly movies, so it is more geared towards that. Now, still some plays I want to show you, but I'm losing some light, so I think I'm gonna have to do some video magic. And it's a brand new day and a beautiful sunset here in St. Albert, so I had to bring you to this spot because I think it's the nicest park and green space in all of St. Albert. And I'm sure you can see why I think that. This is Lacombe Lake Park in the neighborhood of Lacombe. Lacombe is actually my number one pick for best overall neighborhood in St. Albert, and this is one of the reasons why. If you want more information about neighborhoods in St. Albert and all my top five picks, I'll link it right here. Now this park and this lake is amazing. And as nice as this lake is to look at, the city does actually say no swimming. So you're gonna want to obey that because you will probably get swimmer's itch if you swim in this lake because of all the ducks. The lake is stocked with fish, so that's awesome for fishing. Your dogs are more than welcome to swim in this lake. There's actually a spot over there for them to kind of run and jump and play in this lake. There's a boat launch over there as well, no motorized boats. There's an off-leash dog park. You might hear the dogs barking from my microphone, but the off-leash dog park, which I'll show you later, is over there as well. The trails here are amazing. This lake in the wintertime turns into an awesome skating pond. There's a heated shack, so you can tie up your skates in the warmth, and there's washrooms as well. I love running through this park and on these trails. My family and I love having picnics here. This park is so nice. I have to show it to you. Let's go right now. Oh, 
What did you guys think of Lacombe Park and what do you think of St. Albert in the summertime and in the fall? It's pretty nice, isn't it? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. And guys, if you have any questions whatsoever about living in St. Albert, moving in St. Albert, St. Albert real estate or anything St. Albert, my contact information will be in the description below. Call me, email me, text me, however you're comfortable communicating. I'd love to hear from you and be able to help you out. Again, my name is Mike Banks and I have such a cool privilege with the work that I do, helping awesome people like you move to this awesome city and I've helped so many other people do it. So I'd love to have the opportunity to help you if you're thinking about moving here. If you're into this kind of content, all things real estate and all things St. Albert, make sure you subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.